my little introductory video. It plays automatically here. Um, and it has all my different playlists. So first thing you do is you go uh, to your, um, the little camera up here. Can you see that guys? There's a little camera yes. up here with a plus sign. All you gotta do is just click on that, upload, and you can go live too, by the way. If you ever wanna do a live broadcast and record, if you wanna record live on, you have a followers. I have almost 7,000 people who follow me. Those are 7,000 warm prospects. They are expanding every day. Uh, you can go live or you can create a post, but here we're talking about uploading the video. And so all you, you get that screen and where's the video I just did um, right here on my screen here. I, I saved it to my desktop. I'm going to just put it right in there and you can see it loading up. Everybody good on the screen? Yep. Okay, yeah. good. First thing you want to do is put in a title. Somebody give me a title on that. Snooty Neighborhoods. Nope. What's a good title? What's a sexy title? So help me out. Snooty Listing. Snooty listing? No, nah, that's not a good one. I was just joking around. How to. But, how to, it's, but okay. it's got to have snooty. How to. Oh, it's best titles in the world always start with how to. How to talk to high end sellers. How to talk to high end. Spell me snooty. I'm having trouble. Is that S N O T Y? Is that right? Snooty. Yeah. No, that's snotty. Uh, <laughs> How to, how to talk to high-end snooty sellers. And uh, get we're put home sellers. How home to talk to high-end snooty home sellers. Home sellers. Snooty, snotty, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you put it right in here. So if some, or how to, how to talk to high, how to talk to, let's even shorten it. How to talk to shorter is better, correct? Snooty sellers. I brand my name. Claude Diamond is a trademark. It is registered as a trademark federally and internationally. So I always put my name in there. Why? Tell me why. Recognition. recognition. Name recognition. If somebody, if you're branding your name or your company, make sure it's in the title. Do a hyphen. Keep your and keep your title short. Description. Put a description of this. Uh, put a put a little description in the box here. Uh, uh, um, I'm sorry, not not to cut in though, but it's better if you put home seller so because not only is it more specific though, but it also helps out with the algorithm. I know it's a little longer though, but I've done a lot of Facebook marketing and some um, other advertising that home makes a difference. Okay, how to talk to snooty home sellers? Does that work? Yes, I prefer the shorter ladder though, but trust me, it helps out with yeah. the algorithm. Okay, so what are you saying? Um, that, what we have on the screen right now, how to talk to snooty home sellers. That's good. Um, yes, I, I probably have another week or two. Somebody who's ever talking, please mute yourself who's on the phone. Mm -hmm. Please mute yourself, otherwise I gotta take time out to block you. Um, not, not in the last month. Okay, I got to Thanks a lot. Who's ever on the phone? Let's see. About the same. Okay, I'm just going to mute everybody. Okay, uh, I, you're going to have to unmute yourself, guys, because I don't know who that was. Let's go back to share screen. David, mute yourself. Thank you, David, keep yourself muted. Okay, um, so now we need a description in the box. The algorithms of YouTube are based on a several different things. The title, the description, in the title, take your title. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Copy it, place it in your description. Write a little description. Claude Diamond uh, s speaks on the topic of how to talk to whom so snooty home sellers ever work in high income neighborhoods. 
and get rejected and get rejected question mark here are a few solutions to get those high end high commission listings and this can apply to any topic anything so you put that in there i also put in um, a lot of other things like all uh like my name my web page get a free copy links for scheduling um, my phone number um, all my facebook twitter all my other things are in here okay now we need a, a thumbnail google uh youtube automatically gives you a thumbnail it's basically a picture but um, I, uh, who was, who was it who said a picture is worth 10,000 words? Who said that? So you go into your photo, you pick a, and you pick a picture that you think might relate to this. I'm just going to pick any quick picture here, or let me go to my desktop. That's even better. I have good stuff on my desktop. There, I'll pick a crazy picture. Or even better, here, we'll do something else. Snooty, home sellers. Go into images. You guys still can see my screen? We want a snooty home seller picture, don't we? Here we go. We'll take that picture, hopefully we'll drag it on the screen. We'll go back to our YouTube. We'll change our picture. Hey Claude, right. quick question for you. Sure. Uh, you just did a Google image search, but how do you deal with the issue of having to worry about whether a licensing or any kind of issue like that might, might be a problem? Good question. Uh, make sure when you, when you are, it's a non-copyrighted uh, picture. Usually you'll see a copyright or you'll see, uh, what do they have that invisible little, that semi-visible text in there? Watermark. Uh, watermark. Oh, watermark. Right. Thank you. Make sure you have a watermark. Uh, it's not watermarked. It's non-copyrighted. You can make your own pictures or you can search on Google. I've never had a problem, Sean. I've been doing it for years. If it is a, uh -huh. copy, if it is a copyright issue, Google, uh, YouTube will send you a message on your YouTube application and you correct it very easily. Okay. Okay. So, so as long as it doesn't specifically say that it's copyrighted, you can safely assume it's not. Right. So I put in this picture of a snooty little fox, just to just, just something quick to demonstrate. If I didn't do a picture, it would take something automatically uh, from there, but I'd rather have a picture that relates to the topic. A picture is worth 10,000 words. So we have a title, we have a description, we have a picture, then pick your playlist. Uh, latest videos, real estate, success, live sales training, uh, uh, pri uh, marketing, we can put that all in there. We pick the playlist that we want. You can se select your own playlists if you have them. Um, here's the new thing that's in uh, YouTube now. It's very important. Um, is it made for, uh, they got really tough on this uh, the last year. If it's not for made for kids, put no. This is for adults only. Um, on there. So you got to do all this. Then you go to monetization. This is real important um, for you guys. Let me uh, stop the screen here for a second. Um, I monetize. I get a check every month. My word of honor. I've shown you sometimes on it. I'll show you the next one if you remind me. I get a check every month, a nice check, a couple hundred bucks every month from YouTube. I not only do my marketing for free, I spend a half hour to an hour every day, but Google, since so many people See, I've monetized my videos. And so if you can consistently put videos, do videos, and you can do them every week, after a year or two, and you get enough subscribers, they will start sending you a check if they are monetized. And I'll show you that button in a second. But here, imagine whenever, when all your competition is spending hundreds, thousands of dollars a month, you're getting a check for your videos. How about that? Your videos have to be compelling, they have to be, um, you got to hold people's interest. That's why I like to do only two to four minute videos. 
They've got to be consistent. If you do one one month and then you wait another three months, it will not work. Take away moment, guys. You've got to. Hey, this Claude, thing, note yes. on that. YouTube has changed the rules. You have to have a thousand subscribers to monetize or to to live stream from your phone. Okay. The best way to, the good question, Sean, thank you for that. The best way to do that is go on to YouTube, find the topics that you wanna talk about from other people. Grant Cardone, yours truly. Um, Justin has a lot of subscribers now, Justin Chamnus. Um, find out people who are very popular and find out the topics they are using that you can speak on. You will then over a couple months, three, six months, maybe 12, depends on how much content and how good a job you do, you will, attract, you will attract those same people. There are certain topics that are fascinating for people. Find out the names of those topics, watch their videos, but put your own, put your own flavor or spin on it, okay? So the shortcut for getting a thousand, thank you for reminding me on that once again, Sean. The best way to get a thousand subscribers is to do topics that are of interest to people. They're compelling. Um, to be consistency, real important. You've got to, I'm sorry, this is where you've got to spend, you've got to do this at, on the minimum, in my opinion, you should be doing one video at least every two weeks. And re really, if you're going to do this right and you want to get a thousand subscribers fast um, to monetize this, we're talking about monetization here. You don't need a thousand subscribers, but if you want another passive income, another source of income, you know, imagine getting three, four, five hundred, a thousand dollars a month from Google. They're paying you. I mean, how good, how good is that? And they automatically, they send me an email every month and they automatically deposit it in my bank account, my business bank account. That's pretty cool beans, isn't it? So consistency is important. Maybe doing two, three videos a week. I know it's work and it's creativity, but it's, wor but it's really worth it. People call you from doing these videos. Um, it's got to be content driven. As I said, it's got to be interesting. It's got to be topics that people are looking for. Okay, you might want to do, um, you know, how to teach your goldfish how to swim. Okay, see, I use that. Uh, okay, but there might be only five people in the universe who really want to learn, uh, who are going to search for that particular topic. Okay, um, it, contemporary talk related to today. Okay, people want contemporary topics. Um, Try to, uh, um, something I just thought of, try, um, unless you want to do a political page, this is a business page. I want to attract people. I, I uh, on a personal note, I tend to stay away from politics, religion, and diets, okay? Uh, these are the things that get people upset and emotional, okay? What's the worst thing you could do at a dinner party, ladies and gentlemen? Talk politics, right? Without knowing everybody, everybody is not on the same side as you, left, right, up, or down. What's the worst thing you could do to ruin a party? Have you, anybody had that experience in their life? <laughs> okay, stay away from politics and controversial topics, okay? Otherwise, you're, you're breaking down your audience. You want a wide audience that follow you. Um, make it non-commercial. Biggest mistake that people make in their videos, they make them too schlocky, too commercial. The only thing I do, did you guys see, what do I do at the end of every one of my commercials? Help me out. Oh, what, every one of my videos. She put your phone number. Right. What else? Phone yes, number. The email. Email sometimes. What else? You let them know that they deserve success. Right. Praise your audience. Stroke your audience. Stroke and nurture your audience. Nobody deserves success more than you. And what's the biggie so that they continue to watch your videos or go to your web page or Facebook? What's the biggie that I always do? Tell them to subscribe. Hit subscribe, that's good. What else? There's one biggie that I, I do on the end of every one of my videos. Book, book me for an appointment. Yeah, go to my webpage, get a free incentives, we call it. Give incentives so that they go to your webpage for a free consultation, a free white paper, a free mind map, a free audio, video, podcast, anything. Give stuff away for free so that they have the call to action is the term so that they go to your web page or Facebook page and that they get and they and you capture their email. The whole point of this whole thing is to capture quality prospects. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Imagine you get five, 10, 20 people a day who go to your web page, who subscribe, who give you their email, or God forbid their phone number, 
what do you what can you do with that database that's gold isn't it isn't it worth a fort what's the worth what's the value of one really good warm prospect ladies and gentlemen it's worth a fortune or you can spend thousands of dollars cold calling cold mail emailing and texting people who don't want to hear from you isn't it better to the whole point of this is better to attract warm prospects and get paid for it if you want to monetize it absolutely um, so you got to do those. It's just, you've got to do those. It's, I always recommend contact information, uh, links, uh, which you can put in the description box and a call to action with something for free. Let's go back to, um, let's go back to the page and let me continue to show you how to do this. Um, and I'll take questions after we're done here. Can you guys see the screen? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Monetization, this is what we were talking, what Sean was brought up before. I always turn it on. Okay, and then you get a choice. What kind of ads? You ever, for those of you who are not uh, uh, YouTube Red subscribers, you know, you can eliminate all the ads, but they put the ads for you. You can decide, is it a display ad in the corner? Is it an overlay ad, a sponsored card ad? Is it a skippable, skippable video ads? I don't like the non-skippable video ads, so I don't do that. And you can place here the location of the ads. Do you want them before, during, or after? Okay, I let, I let YouTube decide. Then you click the next button here on the bottom and you can notice the top of the screen. We go to all the different sections here. Ad suitability. Okay, do you have inappropriate language? Um, you know, are you, doing, are you dropping a lot of Gary Vaynerchuk F-bombs? Are you having uh, sexual content or discussion? Is there violence or anything or shocking content? Um, something uh, that shocks this uh, harmful or dangerous drug related, hateful content, firearms or sensitive issues dealing with war, death or tragedy. If you're gonna be smart, you don't have any of these topics in your video. It should be just contemporary, compelling mm -hmm. content um, with a sexy title in it maybe, but uh, not, nothing graphic. Then you click none of the above. This means that you get a safe rating from YouTube, and that means your video can be seen by more people. Go down to the bottom here, click your next button. You've got video elements. You can add a com another commercial if you want from another video or whatever you want. Um, you can take an old video that you have an ad in. I'm not going to spend time on this, but uh, you can actually um, place, you can actually place a, a commercial, a little, um, a little rolling ad or something, your web page location or something like that inside there. You can add it as a card or as an end of, sc end of screen. Next, visibility. Do you want to keep it private? Of course not. Do you want to keep it unlisted? No. Members only? No. You want to make it always public. And here's something relatively new. You can make it as a premiere. So you can tell people who follow you. So for instance, I have a lot of followers. I can click this and this will tell them, um, it'll post it in my YouTube page and will tell them that I am going to, uh, there's a new video on how to talk to snooty home sellers. So we'll put it in a schedule here. We'll set it as a premiere. Um, today's the 24th. Let's have this play uh, tomorrow. What do you think is the best time for videos, considering your time zone? What do you think is a good time that I should put in here? Help me out. About an hour after people typically get off of work, around 5.30, 6.30. We can do that evenings or mornings. What at 5.30, you like that? We'll do it. Um, I, tend to, I tend to like early in the morning, so it's there all day. Uh, I'm 6.30, so that would be 8.30 Eastern time, 5.30 uh, California time. Set your time zone also on that, and then you hit your schedule button. Now it is scheduled to play tomorrow at 6.30. Now here's the biggie. Can everybody see this screen with Facebook, Twitter, and everything? Yes. Okay, good. This is the biggie. This is what it's all about. These are all your social media, your biggies. So first thing you want to do, go to Facebook, you click on your Facebook. Facebook's very, very popular. It's usually one or two. You, po you click on the bottom here to Facebook. And they'll see your little picture here, Premier, how to talk to snooty home sellers. Okay, that's in there right now. 
and it's loaded and it's loaded right up. Let's go back. A second here, sorry, kind of disappeared on me. This video is being monetized. Okay. Give me a second here, sorry. And here, we'll do an, here's another video that I prepared. I just want to show you how to. Sorry, it's taking me a little second here. Ooh. Go to your share button. Now I'm gonna put it in Twitter. All you gotta do is click tweet, boom, it's there. Now I want to put it in, let's put it in, we want to put it in LinkedIn. All I got to do is click share in a post, click it in. I can put a topic and describe some more about it here in LinkedIn. And then I just have to click it on post here. Are you wanting to, sh I'm sorry, maybe I didn't understand. Are you wanting to share the beer with Claude or did you want to share uh, the other I one? I had to change the video. I lost it and I don't want to, oh. time's going too fast. So I just grabbed another video. I apologize. That's, that's fine. <laughs> it was just another be a beer with Claude was a video. But yeah, you, besides uh, the point, I get it. Okay, besides, here the thing is though, you go to share. Okay, real easy. Let me show you this again. This is the most important. You go to your video, click on that share button and you can go to all these different, you can go to Reddit, you can go to Blogger, Tumblr, you can copy right down here. So if you want to go, say you, you like to do Vimeo, you can go into Vimeo. And you can go and you can just post it in Vimeo. I don't want to spend time on Vimeo right now, but you can just put it manually, put it in Vimeo. You want to email it to somebody. You can do all these different things. And now you have, and now you have a video that's placed in there and you it's marketed to all your different all your different social media i didn't do such a good job there in the end but i think you guys got the point you make the video you upload the video you click on the share button if you have a thousand or more people you monetize it and then you on the share button you go to all your different social media you'll have to connect the social media in youtube and then you can share it with all your different blogger, Vimeo, um, even ones that are not listed, you can manually put them in. Here, I'll take the link that I just put in. I can put the beer with Claude right in the chat box right now. But you wanna share it with the most major social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, anything. So create those videos, save them, make them simple, make them short, upload them to uh, YouTube, it's real easy to do, and then share them with all the different social media. So if you're a real estate agent, what are, what are right now today for homework? Can you write down five or 10 topics? How to find sell, uh, how to sell your home in 30 days. If you're a financial advisor, talk about what's going on in the marketplace, the five mistakes people make before they make a loan, before they do an investment. Um, if you're selling insurance, how to get the best rate for your insurance, uh, how to bet the cheapest life insurance, how, to work, how, to, how do you know if you're working with an honest company? Controversial contemporary topics are the key. Write them down, write a few little notes. Don't spend an inordinate amount of time on an outline. 
just, just go ahead and throw it against the wall. People will love it if you put your own relaxed spin on it. And, and this is the way you can draw. This is exactly what I do every day. I spend 30 minutes a day working on this and I get all the warm leads I, I need without paying any money. It's just a question of develop. You will become an expert in YouTube marketing and all the other social media if you spend 30 minutes a day doing this. Anything you really want to get good at, you just have to do consistently. Let me take some questions here. We got about six, seven minutes left. Hmm. Nicole, sorry we couldn't talk about your goldfish. <laughs> I'm so just 